All right, all right, all right. We got the beluga. Beluga. We've talked about, oh, it's a tanto. It's a tanto. What happened here? Part of that blade just break off or what? Uh, no, they got a Tanto now. Nashorn Knives still the guy responsible for the Beluga explosion. And, of course, me, I'm very organized kind of guy because, oh, well, they do have this. Okay, so I got this from White Mountain Knives. And so, yes, they actually do have a label on their box. Of course, what the hell does that mean to me? I'm still writing on them. I mean, the other ones didn't used to, okay? Believe me, believe me, or don't, or don't. And, oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Bingo, bingo, got this from Wild Mountain Knives. Wild Mountain Knives. And, see multi ceramic bearing? That's very good. And you need <laughs> petrified fish, b folding knife, g my car to handle Tanto plain eh, and uh, stonewash fish. Uh, but <laughs> I don't know what is going on. It's got to be Justin's fault. It can't be my printer. <sighs> $48.99, damn you. And LTK discount code gets you 10% off. Okay, math class. What's 10% off of that? Well, it's less than $48.99 after 10% reduction, that's for sure. Buy it now. And 8.35 inches overall length. It's K110 blade. It's incredible. And it's almost over here. Okay, there you go. Flipper. Flipper. Get out of here. Um, yes. It has a flipper, but it is very subdued, buddy. So, okay, let's let's just kind of get into this a little bit. This is blue micarta, and can we just call it the denim blue edition? Even though it's not a Kaiser knife, with they've been doing the denim blue thing, man. I'll tell you what, that's kicking ass, is it not? Woo, I'm loving that shit. Where is that damn thing? Oh, I got it rolling around here somewhere. But regardless, oh, like denim blue for the justice. See, check that out. Um, that's interesting, though, that they're doing that. Um, but this is contoured micarta, my friends. And that's pretty inexpensive for multi-row ceramic bearings. But this one will promptly uh, chop your hand off. So no problem there. Just be careful with this. Because that will drop. And boy, you know it's multi-row. Hey, is that a slogan? Boy, you know it's multi-row. Um, and yes, it's going to come hit you right there. And it's already over. And it just it just drops on its own weight. Okay? Yeah? Wow. Look at that. This is different, though. Um, if you're still listening, <laughs> if you haven't clicked off, um, it's different. So check this out, okay, with the regular Beluga. I've had my researcher, Steve Kluver in Iowa, doing all the comparison research. I should print all the pages he sent me about every little thing he studied on the Beluga uh, versus Tanto uh, of what the differences are. And now I forgot. So it's been a waste of his time. Um, but check this out. Okay, look at this a little bit. This is one. Is this my G10? This is my G10 one that I died. Where's my... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, <laughs> you're going, dude, you beluged yourself to death. I mean, this is my blue my card and it's still holding after, you know, hitting it with the food grade... Uh, mineral oil uh like the stuff you drink to make you regular uh, yes that kind of stuff so don't go rancid and stuff but i mean is that because you know check that out you know if you like it a little bit more brand new jeans or you like them faded jeans which one do you like um and check it out 
look at closely here. There's some interesting differences as well. Look at the blade. See that fuller? It's exposed there. This one, not so much, is it? Now you gotta dig onto this one a little bit and you can get your finger back here. Don't try it up here. It will probably be less successful. See that? Because you really not gonna get it because of this here. But back in here, you can you can get that. And you can still kick it open. And it opens easy. Now, does the flipper tab look a little bit more exposed? It kind of does a little, just a smidge. And look at the, the, the end of the knife, the bolster kind of end. Rounded? No. Kind of pointed, huh? Isn't that interesting? This one, is that a little bit more? And this one's kind of even top to bottom, but this one kind of comes in, out, and then doesn't roll back in. And this is like less. Actually, you know what? They look a little bit, and this one's more exposed, so this one's easier to... to to finger flick. This one's not that difficult. It's just, it's a little tighter space there. Um, I was going to measure, let me get this, because I was wondering when I was messing with this thing, it's like, what is going on here? Uh, as far as the height of the scale, okay? So what do we got? 1.2. Okay, let me I just keep feeling like this is taller. And it is. It is taller. You see what I'm saying? This seems taller than this. And this is 1.2. This is 1.28. But it, you can see that, can't you? There's enough difference there. And so if this is taller, that's why this is more buried in here than this is, right? It's interesting. I mean, it's not either here or there necessarily. It's just, I just thought it was interesting. Um, is this the Tanto box? Okay, this is this. Check this out. Okay, so Beluga Me Crazy. You Beluga Crazy people. And <laughs> this, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get them together. Let's do this. Get out of here. Crazy. Up, up. Junior, Junior, okay. So these are the baby belugas. This is this is Big Daddy. This is Mama. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's not socially uh, acceptable. This is not Daddy. It's the non-birthing parent. This is the birthing parent. This is the non-aborted fetal being. Okay, there you go. Now, see, I feel all like crazy cool and new now because I got it right. Um, <laughs> okay, so there, yeah, Tanto, non-Tanto. And that was one of the, what one of the guys was, gonna, was saying. It's like, are they going to make a Tanto mini? Maybe, maybe. And you know what? Do they need to make a bigger one? Do they need to make a bigger one? Is this as big as they should go? What do you think? Now, you're going, eh, shit, I can't recall how big that is. Okay, let me let me measure it. Like I just told you, it's 8.3 something overall. Ah, so the size of a PM2, and but you know, almost three and three quarter inch blades. So really, that's probably enough, isn't it? And... It's a little over eight and a quarter. You think? Do they need to go four inch blade? Or like Mongo Beluga? Should they call it like the Blue Whale or the whatever? I don't know. But yeah, I'm just saying, I don't know. They're so close to three and three quarter inch blade on this one. Maybe that would not, 
that would not be a good marketable move. Uh, the baby, obviously, is a, what, a three and a seven again? Hold on, let me pull this one together. Yeah, a three and, oh, under seven, six and three quarter with a three inch blade. That's, okay, that's interesting. But yeah, so overall length is pretty small, even though it's got a three inch blade. So, I mean, these are cool and they're not flippers uh, in the traditional sense. They're front flippers, very subtle tab, but they do flip. And um, like this, that's what I do. I finger flick them myself. So I almost like forget about the tab. In fact, I mean, you could remove the tab if you wanted to. They're just easy to kick open. But, you know, interesting. I like them. I, this is a really great design for Nash Horn knives. And this is one of the best things that Petrified Fish has done. And they've done a lot of good ones. But this one here, baby, that's hard to say no to. Now, let's, let's move the family out. Let's just talk about the non-birthing parent. Okay, here we go. Now, this is the tenth. Oh, come on, baby, kick it open. Yeah, it's a little, little harder. Okay, you got to be more direct or, you know, uh, by the way, use the flipper tab. And there you go. Okay, so, but it's a big old hossable blade and it's a very, very small flipper tab. So, that, you know what? Hmm, I'm still a middle finger flick kind of guy. Um, throw this on the scale now that we're jacking around here so long. And I'm going to take it apart. We'll look at the bearings and stuff. Okay, 156 grams. Roll it, roll it, roll it. And ounces, 5.5. That's hmm, not bad. It's not bad. Um, how fat are you? It's not real fat either. And you say that, and then you go, yeah. I was thinking it was closer to 0.55. It's really basically six tenths. 15 millimeters. It's a pretty good handful. 3.7 millimeter blade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the blade stock's pretty, pretty heavy duty. Um, and I forgot that it was that thick. It doesn't feel that thick. It's the fact that it's tall. This handle is tall, so this takes up a lot of your hand because of the height here. Um, and I can't think of much of anything that's much taller than this. Uh, and I don't know what I got laying around on my table that, uh, you know, that I could compare it to. But yeah, I, this, is, this, is, this is pretty tall here. And taller than the standard Beluga, isn't it? Ergos are great. I mean, just, just, you know, nothing. So, ergos are great. Um, deep carry. I mean, deep carry. Like, way beyond the, the shoreline right here. We're out. Um, and, of course, you can flip it. So, uh, right or left hand. Obviously, uh, the actual flipper is ambidextrous. And... The, the fuller's on both sides, so this is fully ambidextrous, right, left hand, okay? Not too shabby that way. Ooh, oh, hold on, hold on. Let me get, oh, I just want to test this out. I haven't tested this one out. Okay, okay, okay. All right, that'll work. That'll work, my friends. Oh, yeah. Okay. That'll work. This is decent. I always like to test them just to kind of get an impression like how how good is it out of the box. Um, some are better than others, believe me. You know, um, detent, didn't really talk about that. Uh, it's where it needs to be. I mean, you don't want it any harder than that, especially since you don't have a whole lot to grab onto here or here you know so now nah, I don't want any tougher than it is and of course wow it drop 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 but it, it kind of makes me nervous you know I don't want to miss this nub because that blade is sharp and it's heavy so it's gonna leave an impression 
So I was looking for my stubby little driver and I don't have it, but this just came in. You know, this is the good screw. <laughs> good screw. No, really, S K R E W. Good screw from Australia. They do these. I've got another one coming because this is the unicorn pattern titanium, but then they got the full Damascus, you know, titanium Damascus. So they've got a Timascus ty one. And of course, that's just, you know, that's just, it's colored, but it's colored because they, you know, they flame it after they get done doing the, you know, time at the Moku tie, whatever. So, did I explain that well? Okay, here we go. Petrified fish. But, you know, is this cool? I mean, this is free. And they give you a whole set of bits. I mean, screwdriver, you know, hex, all kinds of, you know, bits to go with it. So, this is the bit that I got. This is the number eight. This is nice. Ooh, that is a nice driver. Um, and obviously, they're magnetic bits, which is that's helpful. And of course, it's in number six, right? Get out of here. Okay, let's just use my little number six here. And you know what else? Um, I don't know. The, yeah, we got to. We got to take this out. Not that I'm going to flip the clip, but I guess we're going to uh, get this thing out of here. Was I feeling that well? I guess not. Okay. Um, this kicks out. What do we got under here? That's where the screws come through. Okay. So that's all that big ass mess. Let's see what we got under here. We got any internal? No, no internal screws. So this should come off. And come off, buddy. I know you're holding on at that end. Okay. And uh, we got a ceramic detent ball. Oh, we got a D shape here. So we're running and gunning. And did what did we do here? Oh, we had this little. Oh, we've got a little. What was that? No, we got these two. Okay, so this must have been for the, uh, this must have been for back here, for a lanyard. Yeah, okay. Um, or for that, no, for that pass through there. Okay. We've got multi row bearings. So we're good. Um, it feels like it too. It is really clean. And you know what? That's very light oil. So it's not heavy or anything. What are they doing here? Oh, okay. That's just the model number K110. And yeah, not much to it. It's, uh, it's really clean. Skeletonized liners on both sides. The micarta backspacer. All right. Well, I guess that's uh, it, it's looking good, man. It's really clean. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we got a D-shaped pivot. We're gonna roll it right through here, and of course, then that's going to uh, align the logo. Then we need some bearings, and we need you over here, buddy. And I am going to gotta find my KPL there it is just staring right at me and let's do that let's put a blade on this dog oh well let's put a uh, stop on here too what okay you're back in here because you're threaded okay and you're not you're the stop okay okay we good now we got to put the other ring on here and we're gonna stick a drop to that side and a drop that side and then we're gonna throw down on this oh um yeah okay i was just looking at my pocket clip which will have to be inserted once i get 
these dogs are going to have to be out of the way to do that. Okay, one's long, one's short. We don't have any internal body screws. And we need to put this on. We can start it here, but we'll finish it with... Ooh, baby, that is a strong magnet on that bit. I didn't realize it when I ordered it. But it is strong. Okay, so now we've got to slide that clip in there and put them those uh, screws down on it. Okay. What do you think? That looks good. Um, are they lined up? Yeah, they're lined up. So the shorty short just goes into the liner here. So that's all he's going to do. And then uh, Long John here, he's going all the way in. Okay. And we got you locked down. Okay, we're good. Now, are we centered? Yes, we are. Did we crank this thing down too hard? I don't know. Let me see. Nah, it doesn't seem like it. It's a little bit more hydraulic. It's not as guillotine. It's nice though, isn't it? Yeah. That third good right there. So you know the beluga here, it's the the model number is the PFP01, okay? Um but you add the T for the Tanto, okay? So PFP01 T on this one. But you know, wow, really inexpensive knife um, in the low 40s. And anymore, it just seems like, seems like this is smeared up. Anymore, it just seems like they're, they're getting up into the 60s and 70s uh, just for the G10 and user steals, you know? So for this to still, after discount, you know, you're in the low 40s. Um, and multi-row ceramic bearings, nice. You know, uh, contoured micarta, a deep carry clip. I mean, it just seems like, and the fit and finish seems really good, you know? I, I call it a bargain. I really like this design, too. I think it's aces up. So, come on, boys. This is your last show. I mean, uh, and this, I died, you know, because this was more... I think this was a grayish, kind of bluish, grayish, but I really brought it all the rest of the way. I think that was sapphire blue, liquid writ dye. And then, oh yes, we have to be politically correct. No, we don't. Screw it. Okay, so we got the whole family here. We like families. And um, they's a mess right here. A big ass mess. Um, I like this. This is a cool color as well. Um, this one is uh, basically that with a little food grade mineral oil. So there's there's the whole team. Will they make a mini Tonto? Don't know. It ought to be interesting though. Take care my friends. Thank you for hanging out. It was the Beluga Fest. And you guys, stay sharp.